Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tupo. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please subscribe, like, comment, give me a thumbs up, guys. Today, I'm going to show you the easiest rubber band updo. So if you guys wanna see how I achieve this look, please continue watching. guys my hair is already washed and moisturized i'm going to be using my shine and jump my rat tail comb my rubber bands my scrunchie and my hair clip to achieve this look i'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and section a straight line from ear to ear exactly the way i'm doing so just make sure that the line is nice and straight very very easy sis i'm telling you this style right here is going to change your life period okay so once i section this straight line going all the way down i'm going to take my scrunchie and hold the rest of the hair in the back away so that's it for the rest of the hair in the back since we're not doing no cornrows no braids so once i do that i'm just going to take my rat tail comb again and then i'm going to section a straight line in the middle of my head exactly the way i'm doing so just make sure you're trying really hard to make sure the lines in the front are nice and straight and then once i'm done i'm just going to secure one of the sides away and then i'll start with one side so i'm just going to section another line okay so i'm going to go on the side of my head on the temple right there i'm just going to section a straight line i'm going to take my rubber band and hold the section out of the way because i want to make sure i section all the parts nice and equal before i start the styling sis and then i'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side on the temple of my head a straight line going all the way down and together i'm going to have four sections sis okay once i'm done parting the sections right here i'm just gonna pull out my baby hairs just so once i'm done i can look cute or whatever and then securing the rest of the hair out of the way you using my hair clip and then take my shine and jump making sure the line is really nice and clean or whatever so I'm going to be starting with one box at a time so I'm just gonna section one little box and then take my shine and jump making sure the line is really nice and clean or whatever and then I'm going to secure the rest of the hair away using my hair clip that way you know I'm working with one box at a time sis taking my shine and jump applying it to the section and this guy right here took me 30 minutes to do from the sectioning the styling and everything else so you know if I got it done in 30 minutes, you can do it too, sis. And then using a rubber band to secure it. Once I do that, I'm going to secure about four or five times. Not too tight, you know, but tight enough that it looks cute. And then I'm going to section the hair into two and give it a little tuck. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jump, apply it to the hair, the remaining of my natural hair, and then twist it all the way down. But while we're still talking, sis, have you subscribed to my channel? Don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what? Juicy! Yes! Just gonna section the second box, taking my shine and jump, making sure the section is really nice and clean, and then securing the rest of the hair out of the way using the hair clip, taking a little bit more of the shine and jump, applying it to the second box so that way it looks really, really nice and neat sectioning the hair into two and then taking the hair from the first section to the second section and then using a rubber band to secure it once i do that i'm going to secure about four or five times not too tight you know but tight enough that it looks cute today's shout out goes to my girl it's toma thank you sis for supporting my channel make sure you go check out her youtube channel as well she is doing her thing over there i'm so proud of you toma keep going you got this baby okay but thank you guys so, so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for all the love. I cannot believe we are here today. Oh my gosh. You guys already know you are the real MVPs because I am nothing without y'all. But thank you, thank you, thank you for taking your time to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for all the love. I cannot believe we are here today. Make sure you're sharing my videos with your cousins, your besties, your mamas, and your aunts because you want everybody to be looking cute out in the streets. You don't want to be greedy stingy or whatever you want to call it we want everybody to know miss tupa one got styles over here and we are about to be looking cute period okay and then take a bobby pin and secure the rest of the hair in the back all right guys so let's continue the styling okay what i try to do is i try to go on the same exact box okay so the first box right there i try to go and do a same exact line so that way it looks really really nice and neat and then secure the rest of the hair away using my clip 
and then i'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jump apply it to the hair okay just to make sure it is really nice and clean and neat or whatever and then I'm going to secure it with the rubber band. So I'm going to secure about four or five times until it is really nice and snug, but not way too tight, sis, as I say. And then once I'm done, I'm just gonna section the hair into two and give it a little tug and then take a little bit more of the shine and jump, apply it to the remaining of the natural hair and twist it all the way down. And then once I do that, I'm just gonna section the second box as well. Do the same exact thing, go where the second box from the first section is, just to make sure it is really nice and clean and neat or whatever. And then take a little bit more of the shine and jump, apply it to the section, and then section it into two. Take the hair from the first section to the second section in a piggyback form, okay? And then I'm just gonna take my rubber band and secure that. And then I'm going to section the hair into two and give it a little tug okay so the reason why i'm doing this is because sometimes the rubber band will slip off a little bit because you're using the shine and jump right so i just want to make sure it goes all the way down okay that's the reason why i'm giving it a little tug nothing serious nothing fancy just exactly the way i'm doing very very easy very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this sectioning the hair into two taking the hair from the second section to the third section and then using my rubber band to secure it section the hair into two and give it a little tug just going to twist it all the way down and then take a bobby pin and secure the rest of the hair in the back if you cannot get it in 30 minutes sister do not worry as long as you get it done that's what matters okay taking my shine and jam applying it to the section and then using a rubber band to secure it then i'm going to secure about four or five times not too tight you know but tight enough that it looks cute and then I'm going to section the hair into two and give it a little tug. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jump, apply it to the hair, the remaining of my natural hair, and then twist it all the way down. Once I get to the third section, I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm taking my shine and jump, applying it to the section, sectioning the hair into two, taking the hair from the second section to the third section, and then using my rubber band to secure it. I'll do the same exact thing, section the hair into two and give it a little tug. But this time around, I'm just going to twist it all the way down and then take a bobby pin and secure the rest of the hair. So I have four sections all together. Each section has three boxes. Anyway, so once I'm done, I'm just gonna take my kiss edge fixer and make sure i lay these baby hairs using the brush that i got from where amazon you already know what it is by now and then i'm just gonna take my styling strip and make sure everything is nice and laid and situated i'm about to do about three four styling strips because i want to make sure everything is nice and laid sister and then you know i gotta make sure i get one of our scarves and secure this okay this scarf right here is from tooth fill okay that's our website you better go check us out buy a scarf or two sister all right so i'm going to be using this sanitex braiding hair it comes five in a pack and i'm about to use four of those okay so i'm just gonna take it out of the pack exactly the way i'm doing it does have this little gold accessory on it i'm about to take it off and use a scrunchie to secure it i'm just taking my styling strip and placing it on my head again just because i don't want to mess up my edges and my style okay check the braiding hair using the scrunchie placing it on my head and then i'm going to section it into two and twist it all the way down All right, so once I'm done twisting it all the way down, I'm just gonna take my rubber band and secure the end right there. I'm going to twist three more on the side. The one that I have on my head, I'm just gonna start making this into a bun exactly the way I'm doing. And then I'm going to be securing it using some bobby pins. I'm going to take one of them, place it on the corner of my head, and then just go around on this little bun thing that I'm making. This is how we make the signature two for one crown, sis. Okay, that's what we're going for. We are making the two for one signature crown honey and then i'm going to be using my bobby pins to secure that and then once i do that i'm just gonna take the other piece place it on the other side on the other corner of my head and then use some bobby pins to secure it you know just making sure i'm covering my natural hair that's the whole point and baby when i tell you this two for one signature crown came all the way through. 
Yes, sis. I am loving this two for one signature crown and the rubber band style on the top right there, honey. Let me tell you something. Nobody's going to know that your hair in the back right there is not braided down. I'm telling you, I am feeling myself right about now. Let me know if you guys are feeling it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying this. And you already know I cannot be the accessorizing queen without adding some accessories. So here we are. I'm just going to add this gold accessories, you know, on the two top boxes right there. And baby, when I tell you, it took the style all the way to boom, 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 100. Let me know if you guys are feeling it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying it. Let me know if you guys think this is a hot style or whatever. Because baby, at this point, I am feeling myself. Oh, <laughs> Anyway, you already know I cannot give you one way of wearing some hair. So I'm going to be using this hair piece that I got way back. I'm going to put the information down below. This hair piece right here, it saves me every single time. One comb on the top, two combs in the sides, one comb in the back, and a drawstring, sis. Okay? So I'm just going to take it and place the combs in exactly the way I'm doing. So I'm going to place the first comb on the top right there, the two side combs. I'm going to place those in as well where the, um, the rubber band style is ends that's where i'm placing those combs sis. and then the back as well i'm just gonna place that right there and then use the drawstring just to make sure you know everything is nice and tight and situated and then just fix the hair with my fingers you already know and bad bad when I tell you, this natural hair came all the way through as well. Let me know if you guys are feeling the natural hair look or whatever, because I am loving it. Let me know which one is your favorite, the signature crown or the natural hair style right here, the afro or whatever you want to call it. Let me know if you guys are feeling this. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying them. I want you guys to try them both. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for all the love. Make sure you're sharing these videos with your cousins, your besties, your mamas, and your aunts. Because sharing is caring. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.